Well, how are the state's constitutional officers spending your tax dollars with office upgrades and travel expenses? KATV's Maureen Glisovic did a deep dive into the records to find out. You know, just kind of uh, putting a fresh coat of paint on everything. Five months. That's how long John Thurston has been Secretary of State. It's also the amount of time it took for his office to spend $68,000 redecorating. I don't just look at this office or this building as a place where state employees work or where elected officials have built, have meetings. Uh, it's, it's the centerpiece of uh, our state. Yes, it's a very nice chair. Thurston showed Channel 7 how proud he was of the office now that it's been renovated. Most of his personal office furniture coming from the previous administration, except this conference table and six chairs for $4,000 from LaHarp's Furniture, $400 end tables from Ashley's Home Store, and an office chair with a $1,400 price tag. Does it bother you at all that the cost of that chair is more than, you know, the average Arkansans monthly mortgage? Well, I would say no, because of where we are. I would think that the average Arkansan would probably expect that the furniture kind of be up to, to where, uh, uh, you know, to the image of this building. The entire office slapped with a fresh coat of paint. Yeah, yeah, Some paint big ticket paint. items include yeah. two reception two. desks, a credenza line, and executive line, desk, line. another Except pricey chair, a mold third mold pricey mold. chair, a custom made door, four more chairs yet to be delivered, an iPad Pro, Apple Pencil with keyboard, and a men's messenger bag to carry them. A break room makeover, complete with a professional automatic coffee brewer, one for here and another for a separate office. Um, could maybe a Keurig, or I know the espresso machines are about sure. 250, 200, a Keurig sure, sure. About 100 could, yeah. now. Right, I mean, I suppose we could have went that route, but like I said, the, the volume at times that are in, that uh, the meetings that take place here um, you know, coffee and water is pretty much the staple of, of business meetings and so forth, so we do offer uh, folks coffee when they come in. While Thurston calls his new furniture nice, but not necessarily top of the line, KTV did find a decent price chair, one used by his chief of staff. He's got a $150, $200 chair from Staples and you're sitting on a $1,400 chair. You mentioned it was about aesthetics and it wasn't your chair, it's for others. Um, why not make everyone sit in $1,400 chairs? That is a good question that, um, like I said, I approve projects and, um, you know, I suppose in the, the decorating uh, side of planning the, uh, the executive office, um, they chose that it probably needed a little nicer chair, which I don't disagree. While the bulk of Thurston's renovations was spent on furniture, Thurston stands behind these purchases. I hope that uh, Arkansans would be actually proud. I mean, it cost a lot of money. I know that. I kind of choke every time I see what a chair cost or what a conference table cost uh, because it is a lot of money. Uh, but however, this is the most spectacular place in Arkansas. I think the office here is is nice. Meanwhile, Governor Asa Hutchinson's office spent around 15000 to replace a carpet in a high traffic area and called upon Arkansas prison inmates to paint a hallway. One piece of furniture he did buy, a $10 bookshelf. That was uh, bought out of uh, M&R, which is surplus state property, so somebody else turned that bookcase in that uh, they didn't need it anymore for their office, so we were able to recover that. Uh, I think that's just an example of my team who really manages these uh, uh, office uh, expenditures that they are careful about it and say, this is good enough, this is what we'll do. The governor has kept a conservative approach to spending tax dollars inside of his office, 
But on the outside, $17,000 was spent on private car service in Washington, D.C. Last year, Hutchinson points out it was the first year state police in Virginia cut costs and didn't provide transportation and security. A big bill brought to his attention by Channel 7. I did not see what the cost was on that in advance, and whenever I saw the total amount of uh, the billings for that, I thought it was too high. I thought this is something that uh, the taxpayer should not have to foot the bill on, so I paid that uh, out of uh, separate funds that are not taxpayer funds. How we came to know about this was because uh, someone did a uh, uh, you did a very good uh, search and, and draw, drew it to our attention. Right. Not spending much on redecorating is Attorney General Leslie Rutledge, who is still using passed down family furniture with one recent addition, a round table built by Arkansas prison inmates. Well, I believe it's important for office holders to be responsible with taxpayer money to, to buy things, to purchase items, to renovate only as needed. And so we've uh, really tried over the years since uh, my administration began in 2015 to be fiscally responsible and to only purchase items that we need and not luxurious items. While expensive furniture and decor is not part of Rutledge's spending habits, her staff has dined on around $3,000 worth of steak and shrimp, a meal choice she says she leaves up to individuals, but also requires they follow federal guidelines for reimbursements. And we've got 170 staff here. I think we turned in uh, 70 different employees reimbursements. And so I'm not going to go through as the attorney general and look through whether or not someone eats a ribeye. I grew up on a cattle farm, so I'm a big believer in our cattle and, and ranchers across the state, uh, people taking advantage of that. So I'm, I'm not going to look at what choices people are making as long as they're legal and within the budget. I think that's important. So be more efficient. But steak is not on the menu for Lieutenant Governor Tim Griffin, whose receipts amounted to just about $200 since last July. Griffin keeping it conservative he says to do as he preaches. Yeah, I mean, I don't necessarily like the style of these chairs, but you know what? I sit on them and they haven't collapsed, so we're good to go. Um, this, all this furniture was here, uh, and some things that I really like that I think would look good in here, I buy them out of my pocket. Over here, we usually typically have four to five staff members. Spending their own money, a practice Auditor Andrea Lee also follows, while her office is in dire need of updates and renovations. Instead of spending tax dollars, she received a historical grant for a future carpet replacement. You know, when I took over the office, there really weren't that many needs as far as furnishings, as far as upgrades. Now, the only upgrades that are important to me are, of course, what are work related to help our Kansans. So anytime a new computer's used, I'm obviously going to upgrade that. Anytime a new program's needed, I'm going to upgrade that. And that's where our money's going to go. But furnishings are furnishings. That's Maureen Glisovic with our content partner, KATV. You can catch more of her report online at talkbusiness.net or katv.com.